There's no set rule or meal plan that you have to follow. What you do have to follow though, is trying to stay within the lists that are, lo that are located beside your allocation of your containers. So yeah, if you're having those every day, those are super high. So I'd encourage you to try to diversify up to the top of the list because it's gonna be better healthier choices for your body to interpret as information. Because food is information. And it's gonna help with your genes, it's gonna help with everything. And how your body calculates the food that you're eating. Then you have your red container. So again, beautiful selection here. You've got your eggs, you've got cottage cheese, you've got uh, chicken, you've got, there's so many different, you've got your shape all you. there's so many different options you can pick. So for me, I love diversity. I love to eat similar, we eat the same things almost every day, but I get to have something different on my salad every day. Um, I get to have something different for dinner every day. But I want to stick to these containers. And then we get to your yellow containers. So we have our sweet potatoes, our yam, our quinoa. You know, again, try to stick to the top of them. Of course, you can have two two tortillas, um, which actually, or sorry, one small tortilla, which counts as one yellow container. But you're probably going to get a lot more value, nutritional value, if you have your sweet potato and your quinoa. So, food for thought. Try it out. Then you have your blue, so it's your avocados, your nuts, your hummus, um, your feta cheese, your goat cheese. Your seeds are in the orange containers, right? So you have your pumpkin seeds. You've got, we have a whole container of pumpkin seeds over there. Our kids love them. We try to leave out healthy food alternatives. We don't have any allergies in our house to nuts, so we do leave those out. Um, and, and also your dressings. So even within this book, they have all the dressings that you can also reference. I am not a big uh, dressing person. I love balsamic. I do love the Bolt House dressings, which is low fat yogurt based. Um, but then you have to break down the containers of how those work. Um, you have your teaspoons. Your oils and your butters are very important. So it's really important that you have those. So for me, how do I, so you, how do I get my two to four tablespoons of my, of my teaspoons in a day? Well, I have coconut oil in my coffee every morning. So that's right here. I love peanut butter. So I always have a scoop of peanut butter with my Perrier at night, maybe two scoops. Um, and that's really what I do. Or we use olive oil on our salads. So this is important. Healthy fats are, are gonna be the key to your success, as well as diversifying your eating plan. So your free foods are gonna be your lemon, your water, all those types of things. Um, again, get to know your book, Hydration is Key. And um, you also, on, uh, on page 27, is the replacement container food groups. So if you like to have milk in your coffee or a latte, you can. It just, it just lets you know what you can be doing. So you can replace one of your yellow containers two times a week with a beverage from the list below. You can even have wine, but you've got to replace your quinoa, your sweet potatoes, or your carbs, okay? So here's your recipes. There's tons of stuff here. We will be sharing so many recipes Don't hesitate to reach out. I've been using this container system for one year now. And it took me a little bit to get it at the start, but I love it, it works, and um, I love to talk about it. So reach out anytime, and good luck, and congratulations for choosing this uh, choice for you. If you are on your journey to your best self, then we are honored and thrilled to be a part of it. Thanks so much.